calculate the lower and upper quotas for a state given its population. Now the definitions to start the lower quota, we're gonna start every one of these problems with the standard quota. Then we take that standard quota and we're gonna round down. So when you find the lower quota, every number is automatically rounded down to the nearest whole number, every one of them. For the upper quota, everything is rounded up. Now this should make sense that the upper quota is always one higher than the lower quota, right? They're just one part. So generally the standard quota generally is a decimal. And so when you go, the lower part is the lower quota, you round up, you get the upper quota. The number of representatives allocated to a region or a state is generally going to be equal to either the upper or lower quota for that particular region or state, one or the other. So let's do an example real quick. So given the states and populations below, what are the upper and lower quotas for each state if there should be a total of 50 representatives? So we have West Daisy, North Rose, and East Mulch with the given populations. Now to do this, we first need to find our standard quota, which means we have to start by finding the standard divisor, which we means we need the total population. So let's do that. The total population, we add these three together and we get a total of 557,380. Once we have the total population, we can divide by the number of representatives to get the standard divisor, which is 11,147 and 6 tenths. Now that we have our standard divisor, now we can find our standard quota for each state. So for West Daisy, we take our population of 255,983 and we divide by our standard divisor. That gives us roughly a standard quota of 22.963. These decimals go on. I generally round to about three decimal places. For North Rose, we take the population divide again by the same standard divisor, and we get a quota of 17.317. And East Mulch, a standard quota of 9.719. So when we put these into a table, we're going to round down for our lower quotas round up for the upper quota. So you'll notice when I have my standard quota, each one of them is a decimal. If we just erase the decimal numbers, there's our lower quotas. For the upper quotas, we're just rounding each number up, which is one more than the lower quota. And that is how you find the lower and upper quotas for a particular state or region. Remember, it always starts with the standard quota, and then we round from there.